So how you can make decals in Blender like this. So I have this one and I have this one with little damage like this. So I'm going to show you the two method. First, I'm going to hide mine and this one. So first, what you need to do is you need to add an image as a plane. So first, go in Edit, Preferences, and in Add-ons, search for Image, Im Import Images as Planes. Um, get this, and then when you do Shift-A, Image, you will have Images as a Plane. And this one, Image as Decal, this is the add-on that I'm going to show you in the second part. So Images as Planes, you get your image, I'm going to get this one and import image. Now you have your image here. And G, X, I'm going to move it here to put my decal here. And you need to um, get the image and wrap it around this. So what you need to do is get the modifier shrink wrap. And shrink wrap, this is going to get your image and project the shape onto another object. Get this, and then target, we want to wrap on the cup. So click on the cup, and now you see it's on, but it is not, um, we don't see the image. And the image is a little deformed here, like this. So we can um, offset this, but you see, still it is not wrapping around because we don't have enough geometry on the plane to bend. So you need to subdivide the plane first. So go in edit mode, do A to select everything, right click and you can do subdivide. Then here in the little window, number of cuts, you can put more, like a 10 and even you can add the subdivision modifier. Subdivision surface modifier. And you see, now this is round. And if you don't want it round, um, here you click on simple. And you can get the subdivision before the shrink wrap. So it's subdivide and then it is wrapping around this. You can also do right click shade smooth so your image is smooth. Now you go in material properties and the offset you can put it back at zero. And it is like this, so put it a little little bit like 0.0. .0. One, so it is like this. Even you can put it at like this. You just need to see the image. And you see here it is a little deformed. So here in a wrap method, I'm going to change it at a target normal project. And now it's like this. And you can move your image if you want. You can S scale it and if you scale it like this you see it's doing like this because I am on a um, cursor here so put in individual origin or medium point like this like this and you have your decal here now the second method is with the add-on to import directly your image as a decal and the add-on is going directly to put a subdivision a, a shrink wrap and also you can add um, little damages scratches on your image so the add-on is import as a decal here i'm going to put the link in the description and if you want more add-ons more website where you can download textures download hdrs download um, characters download sound effects lot of things I have a list with more than 60 websites so you have the link in the in the description to access the list so import as decal you get this add-on and then you have to put it in blender so go in edit go in preferences and then you do install put the zip file and you enable the import as decal this one then to import as decal, first you need to click on the object you want the decal to be on. 
So I want the decal to be on the cup, so I click on the cup, then I do Shift A and you have Image as Decal. You get this? And now I'm going to get another image, uh, for example this one, and all of these images I got the pack from another person. It is the sci-fi decal pack from Sanctus. So I will also put the link in the description if you want this. So you have a lot of decals here, a lot of images that you can put. So I'm going to get this one and then import as decal. And now you see it's wrapping directly. So you need to first, I'm going to disable this and this. And you see in the modifier of this image, directly you have the subdivision and you have the shrink wrap here. So I'm going to disable it now just to move my image so it's going to be easier. So I can go on top with numpad 7. I can go back in solid. I can do um, R. I can move it like this. Put it here. And then here you can put a um, 3D cursor here to pivot point and then R is going to move it if you have of course your cursor at the center here of your object. You can do if you don't have the um, cursor at the center of the object you want the decal to be, you can do right click. First you put the origin to the geometry and then you click on your object, shift S and you put the cursor to selected and your cursor will directly be at the origin of your object. So now you can uh, get your image RZ is going to rotate here with the pivot point cursor. So RZ like this, I'm going to put it just right next to the other one. And then I can put back the modifiers, subdivision and shrink wrap. And now it is directly wrapping here. I can go in material preview like this. And then to add um, scratch, you, I'm going to close this, you need to go in the materials. And here in the materials, you have a lot of things now. On my other one, on my first one, I only have the basic materials like this. So in my first one, I can of course change the roughness. I can put, for example, a point one, the roughness like this, I can change everything. And on this one with the import as decal, you can add worn amounts. You can add um, scratches here. So I'm going to change this, put more, and you see now you have damages here. You can put on the other side too at the minus. I'm going to put like, uh, for example, like this, and you can change the scale of the the scratches of the worn amount. For example, I want small ones, so I'm going to put like this. One amount I can put a little less. I can put a little contrast like this. Then edge can change. And on the edges, you will have this effect here. You can add little scratches here. Now you see the scratches here. And you can play with everything and see the effect. And now you have your decal on your object. So if you want the list of all the resources I use for Blender, you can get my 3D resources. You have the link in the description and I will see you in another video. Bye.